starting with the elderly wolf uncle chapter 137. But there were too many contingent members in the room. As soon as she was about to jump up, she was smashed unconscious by the people rushing behind her. Damn it, Logan was hoarse, but to no avail. Ah. At this moment, the brothers and sisters Wanda and Pete, who were hiding in the electric box, were also found, were rudely tied up, and thrown to the ground. And Professor Charles. Hawkeye gave instructions outside the villa. I. I won't allow you to do that. Professor Charles, who appeared on the second floor in a wheelchair, also felt angry at this moment, and immediately activated his psychic ability. Want to control the S-H-I-E-L-D crowd. However, when most people were indeed controlled by him, in the crowd, two figures with special helmets rushed out, and ran in front of Professor Charles in a few steps. Burst. A tranquilizer pierced directly into the neck of the old man who did not have much strength himself. The spiritual fluctuations that spread throughout the villa disappeared in an instant. HMPH. An old immortal mongrel actually dared to resist. The two task force members who wore special helmets and were protected from mind fluctuations snorted coldly. Directly erected the thin old man and walked down the stairs. Nope. Logan saw this. His eyes were red, but he felt a deep weakness between countless stampedes. Boom. In the end, he was suppressed and stunned directly by the butt of a gun from the task force. Thereupon, all of them were captured out of the manor by the people of S-H-I-E-L-D alive. The task is completed, Chen Tian did not appear. Seeing this, Hawkeye dared to breathe a sigh of relief and reported to Nick Fury. The other side, by the early morning of the next day, Chen Tian finally finished dealing with all the affairs of the black-robed picket world. This initiated dimensional teleportation and returned to the Marvel world. There are fluctuations in the space in front of you, and the space channel opens. After he walked in, in an instant, he returned to the villa room of the Delenhay Manor Zero, huh? Chen Tian noticed that the manor was empty, and his face changed abruptly. He rushed all the way to the hall to look at the coagulated bloodstains, scratches, and bullet holes on the stairs, and Chen Tian's eyes slowly flowed with a thick killing intent. And the pair of fists were clenched tightly. Who did it, knives? Chapter 96 Nick Fury's Disdain, The God of the World is Back. A crescent moon hangs high. Silence spills white light above the thick sea of clouds. Between the sky and the clouds in the sky, a coon-type fighter is like a black goshawk with wings spread, flying through the sky. S-H-I-E-L-D Director Nick. Fury was sitting upright in the cabin, his face indifferent, one blind eye wearing an eye patch, and the other eye showing a solemn light. Opposite him, the emaciated old man reclined in his seat, wearing a collar and falling into a coma. Charles. Nick. Fury's eyebrows twisted slightly, and he looked at Professor Charles's thin body from top to bottom. If it is placed in the outside world and not informed in advance, I am afraid that no one will think that this ordinary old man who cannot even stand up can actually be on par with a nuclear bomb. Chen Tian, you should die. Nick. Fury took a deep breath and muttered in a low voice. Head. It's almost there. Then, some of his subordinates came to report. Okay. I see. Nick. Fury nodded, stood up and slapped Professor Charles awake. Charles, do you know me? Then asked as he sat back. A uh hum. Professor Charles was slapped, coughed twice, slowly opened his eyes, and looked at the corner of the other party's mouth with a disdainful smile. I've never been impressed by sinister villains. HMPH. Nick. Fury naturally wouldn't be pulled by this simple provocation, and just snorted coldly, Logan. Howlett says you died a year ago, but we know you're still alive. Quote. It's just that thinking that so many mutants have died, you should always stop for a while and don't bother to care about it for the time being. When he said this, Professor Charles's face began to look a little ugly. Fury's brows furrowed deeper. I didn't expect that you didn't know the honesty at all, and you actually dared to come to New York City and even live there. Quote. Charles, you must know that now, 327, is not 10 years ago, New York City hee hee, there is no place for you under the whole sun. The ugly expression on Professor Charles's face suddenly calmed down, and his vicissitudes looked at each other, I was born in New York City, and when you were still drinking milk. I was ready to go out of society to build this country. Quote. I've seen the whole city prosper, and I've even been involved in it. He tried his best to maintain a calm tone, but he still trembled a little, I have done no less than anyone else, why is it a sin to set foot in this city again? Nick. Fury still looked at Professor Charles with an indifferent expression, and when he raised his eyebrows, he could see that three wrinkles appeared on his smooth forehead. In fact, although the two seem to have a large age difference, the real age difference between the two parties is no more than ten years. This will happen thanks to Nick. Fury had injected an anti-aging agent, which was derived from the serum of super soldiers. Since you said for the construction of the country, then do me a favor. Nick. Fury was silent for a while, and suddenly the corners of his mouth slowly outlined, revealing a smile-like expression. Clean up all the mutants in the world. So that not only the country, but the whole world will appreciate you. Finish speaking. The smile under his eyes grew stronger. No way. Professor Charles suddenly became excited when he heard this, and wanted to struggle to sit up straight, but he had no strength but to lie back. He had to stare at Nick with angry eyes. Fury, there's no way I'm going to do anything with you. What's more, now that the brainwave enhancement machine is broken, no one can do such a thing. You're going to die this heart. Professor Charles almost yelled through the last word, only to find Nick. Fury looked at himself with a smile in his eyes. He suddenly felt that he understood something, and suddenly he only felt that his strength was drained, and his already soft body was even weaker. It's the smartest brain in the world, I think you should know. 
Nick. Fury raised his eyebrows, his tone proud, S-H-I-E-L-D has mastered the most powerful technology on Earth, and there are many things you can't imagine. Quote. As he spoke, the smile on his face disappeared, and every word was threatening, maybe there are some things you don't want to do, but you can't help it. You. Professor Charles's body was already weak, and the other party's words turned into a heavy hammer and smashed his heart, making him speechless for a long time. A great sense of sadness suddenly emerged and engulfed him. But Professor Charles, who has lost his powers, is weak and unable to move, and he can't control anything except the thoughts in his mind. Who one by one at this time? The entire coon type fighter began to fall downward, and in a blink of an eye, it passed through the clouds and landed on the ground. Charles, we're there. Nick, Fury smiled and glanced at the paralyzed old man in front of him, stood up and walked ahead. Several subordinates behind him immediately moved Professor Charles to a wheelchair and followed behind. Click, the fighter hatch slowly opened. A scene of a ruined campus was reflected little by little in Professor Charles's old and cloudy eyes. Xavier Genius College, a place he knew all too well. See you now after a year of absence. While familiar, there is also a difference.